Looking for a new gaming desk and you want height adjusting? Well, you're in luck because the gaming desk from Flexispot has all that and more, and we're gonna take a look. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks and even product reviews like this gaming desk right here from Flexispot. This is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the products or the services that I'm talking about right here, did you all a favor. I love links in the show notes below, so make sure you check them out. So I have been searching high and low, no pun intended, out there for height adjusting desks, for desks that would work for my needs. I need something that's going to work within my work environment, me as a streamer, and me as a avid gamer. And luckily for me, a company got in contact with me named Flexispot asking if I'd be willing to review their new gaming height adjusting desk out there. And I am more than willing to see if it's gonna meet the marks for all of us out there. So let's take a look. The gaming desk from Flexispot comes with an aggressive design. It's not just your normal cookie cutter rectangle design. It has all these unique shapes and edges to it, what gives it really cool sleekness. It measures 48 inches wide by 30 inches deep, has a one inch thick, sturdy work surface, slanted edges for easing on your wrist for when you type or game for long sessions, has a quick and buttery smooth adjusting heights from a sitting of 27.9 inches to a maximum standing height of 47.6 inches, has a lift speed of one inch per second, can hold up to a maximum weight of 154 pounds and comes in this slick, dope carbon fiber finish, which looks awesome when colors cascade across it. So what are the pros and the cons of the Flexispot gaming desk? Well, my first pro is perhaps my favorite one, the smooth transitions that it has. Simply using the adjustments for the arrows up and down or presetting in settings for your height or sitting or maybe even on a stool, it can easily adjust within just a few moments. You can go from sitting to standing in just a few seconds, which is nice if you have to get the blood flowing if you're working on something like anything for YouTube or even if you're a streamer out there that needs to get the body moving around, you can still stream and stand, which is awesome if you're a creative streamer out there that perhaps likes to do music and you wanna play guitar and you wanna stand and you need to read what's going on in your chat. Or if you're like me that paints, you can now do some standing and painting while accessing your chat and everything on the desk for your OBS or slobs even. Pro number two is the strong, sturdy construction that this thing is made out of. I am surprised at how sturdy this thing actually is. You know, I've worked in a lot of environments and I've had a lot of health conscious companies that I've been around. So I've been around a lot of standing desks and gaming desks at convention. And I'm always worried about how strong the tabletop will be on the actual top and the legs. And let me assure you, this thing is sturdy through and through. And I am amazed at how easy it also is to clean up if you happen to spill anything on top of it. That nice slick seal design makes cleanup a breeze. Pro number three is all about the available real estate space you get on this desktop here. This desktop is actually a lot wider than most gaming desks out there, which is kind of unique for the aggressive design that it has for the nice cuts that it has for that slick design. But it's still wider than most of its competitors out there. And if you're a streamer like me or a gamer, you've got extra controllers or you've got things like your mixer or your preamp or your stream deck or keyboards or anything else you need to perform your streaming or gaming needs out there, real estate space is extremely important, especially if you need accessibility to it. So having a little few more inches on the length and on the width is always something that I'm always looking for. Pro number four is a very unique pro and stick with me on this one if you will. 
Streaming has gone way beyond just video games. If you're a YouTube content creator or a live streamer on Twitch, you've noticed a phenomenon of creative streams growing, just chatting, IRL, cooking streams, music streams. I can go on and on. And having accessibility for making those type of streams easier on you is gonna be vitally important. A lot of positions aren't just sitting anymore for like gaming. You have to move around if you're playing guitar or playing drums or making cosplay or doing art or doing cooking or just chatting. You wanna do unique positions. So you might have to move into different spots. And having the accessibility to make adjustments on the fly just like that is vitally important. No more or gone are the days of you bending over into unique positions or hard to reach spots and hurting your back. Gone are the days of just moving in weird ways where you have to squint your eyes and see what's going on. Now everything's within arm's reach for the type of streamer that you want to be. That's one reason why I really recommend having a height adjustable desk. So what are the cons of the gaming desk from FlexiSpot? Well, due to the fact that it is height adjusting, when it gets to the taller heights here, it can become a little bit wobbly, which I've noticed. I feel like they could do just slightly better construction on the bottom part of the legs by adding like a little triangle that goes out to the side. So that way, if you do accidentally rub against it or bang it with your wrist or elbows or anything like that, it would negate a lot of the vibration that would happen in it. But to be honest, it's very minimal and if you're kind of aware of it, you know how to work around it and you won't be putting as much of your weight on top of the desk. Now, if you're an avid PC gamer out there and you play games with using a mouse like my Logitech mouse here, which is an optical mouse, the carbon fiber design that goes on top of the FlexiSpot gaming desk is going to be horrible for you, unfortunately. Due to the carbon fiber, it kind of reflects and reflects the light really uniquely. So your mouse cursor will bounce all over the screen at times. Now, this isn't really negative because there is an easy solution to this, which I recommend getting if you are an avid gamer out there anyways. You're gonna have to get yourself a nice gaming pad or a mouse pad. I'll put a link in the description below, but I like the glorious mouse pad here. Make sure you get something that's wide and accessible for the type of streamer that you are. But that's an easy solution. Plus, I really do like the carbon fiber design. It looks really slick, but just to let you know out there, you're gonna need something to counteract the way that an optical mouse will work on its desktop surface. Con number three for this gaming desk from FlexSpot is about the electronic adjuster that you would be pushing for the height adjustment. The gaming desk only comes with an up and down switch. And you know, when starting out in other desks that I've used, it's not bad. But to let you know, I got the upgraded version where it comes with the presets in there for setting heights for one, two, and three. And you know, now that I have that, I can't live without it. So if you do plan on getting an electronic height adjusting desk, I really recommend paying up for it the um, switch that comes with the presets that you can put in yourself. Luckily on FlexiSpot, they allow you to customize your order. And if you're gonna spend the money for a gaming desk that can adjust height, I recommend paying a few extra bucks to get the ones that auto adjust. So that way you're not sitting and fussing around with it. It's a lifesaver, trust me. Con number four is perhaps the biggest con that really does annoy me. This desk is almost virtually flawless and I would recommend it to everybody, but it fails in one huge department. The cable management that you need for the desk because it's height adjusting really, really sucks. There's no way to really hide cables that it comes with. I feel like it should come with like a few hooks or some way to actually manage the cables of how they go under the desk and down the leg. So that way all the cables are out of your way. So that way when you make adjustments with height, you're not worried about anything. And the only easy solution out there is you can spend a few bucks for some cable management that you can drill into the underside or get some Velcro straps. Or if you want an easy solution like me, it's not pretty, you can get yourself some alligator clamps or A clamps where I just feed the cables right through here and then clamp it on the desk. So that way when I do height adjustments, this clamp will pull the cables up and down and I don't have to worry about anything. But that is probably the biggest flaw with that. But to be fair, no desk company really addresses this. So it'd be nice to see if they made something that was a little more better for how the cables run underneath the desk so they're out of the way of your feet and the height adjustments. Now, if you're interested in the gaming desk from Flexus Spot, it ranges around the price of 370 USD. I will put links in the show notes below for if I find it any place cheaper, so make sure you always check that out. Now, it sounds like 370 USD is a pretty high price for an electric 
adjustable height adjusting desk. Let me tell you, it is not. Coming from the corporate world, an average price for a desk that you're getting right here usually starts around 500 USD. So this is actually a steal. So I recommend taking a look at it, especially if you're a Twitch streamer or a gamer out there that loves the aggressive design that this desk offers. Now, if you like this gaming desk from Flexispot, I'm gonna recommend two accessories. The first one is vitally important. I would highly suggest getting some articulating monitor arms. Flexispot makes two versions that you can take a look at. I'll put links in the description below, but the one that you see here is awesome if you like a dual monitor setup. It can articulate in every single direction that will be needed for your YouTube content creations, your Twitch streams, or just your basic work environment. The reason I recommend having monitor arms is for the sheer reason if you're gonna do height adjusting, you can hide the cables out of the way and nothing will be tugging in the wrong spot. Plus this way everything's calm and collective and you don't have to worry about any of the monitors moving position, which is something that I'm always concerned about because I'm a little OCD about that type of thing. I like to have everything in its place. Accessory number two is to get things that help the desk be better, which is going to be all about that mouse pad or gaming pad that we mentioned earlier. I use the glorious one. I'll put links in the show notes below. It's really awesome, but you can get some RGB ones if you want to add some cool colors because they'll contrast off that carbon fiber design, which will look really super cool and dope. But also you need to get some type of cable management, which either you can use those alligator clamps that I said before, or you can get something that will be a little bit better that can manage on the underside that you can drill in. So that way everything's strong and secure and out of the way. So that way when you make adjustments, you're just really good to rock and roll. I would like to thank Flexispot for sponsoring this video. So that way I can show you guys some really cool products that'll make you bigger and better with being a streamer and content creator out there. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this product. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more product reviews in the future, you know what to do. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what product you're interested in and I will see what I can do to make a video on that. If you'd like to help support me in this channel, you can also like, share, and retweet this video out to all of your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you like what you see here, you're definitely gonna like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wildforgames, where you can hit that almighty subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next stream support video coming up real soon. Take care all, peace.